Okay, here we go again. July. Fuck me. July, what is it? 24th? 24th, I think. Dude. 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 I have a pain in my fucking right lung. It feels like I'm having a constant heart attack. I coughed till I pulled a muscle. And now it ain't the muscle. The muscle hurts when I do stuff. Now it's inside of me. Dude, my babies are fucking rabid. James, dude, mold destroys your fucking brain, your heart, your kidneys, your lungs, your circulatory system. Dude, every endocrine system, everything. Everything. You got bone cancer, it's going to make bone cancer worse. Leukemia, fuck, dude. Leukemia, squared, cubed. My babies are fucked. I am fucked. I can't walk proper. When I get out of here, when we get out of here, the only cure for mold toxicity is to get the fuck away from the fucking mycotoxins. The mold, black mold mycotoxins. Like mold carcinogens. It's the only way. And again and again and again. And it's July 24th? 2022? There's a fucking tipping point. Long-term exposure. There's a fucking tipping point. Short-term exposure, eh, you're fine. Unless maybe you have AIDS and, I don't know, you're fine, short-term. Long-term exposure to the mycotoxins produced by, and there's two of them, there's at least two black molds in here. The long-term exposure for that, there's a goddamn tipping point. I realized this yesterday, I said it in the last video. Yesterday video. By the way, this is the what the fuck update. This is the weather report in here. There's a fucking tipping point where right now they are fucked up. It happens throughout the day, like me. I am fucked up throughout the day. And you know, I, I'll cough for three days, then I won't cough. I'll cough all day, and then I won't cough. There's a dude, life is a wave. Life is vibration. So... There's a tipping point for me where, dude, my chest has never hurt like this. There's a chance that whatever's going on in my chest is permanent. There's a chance that whatever's going on inside of them and all I can see is the neurological effects, the cognitive effects. It's all I can see. And they're real. They are fucked up. James has bit me now nine times. They've been alive for 10 years, seven months, and 13 days, and they have never done this. I've never been through this. I've never been this fucked. They've never been this fucked. How about fucked like this? We have never, this is fucking, this is nuts. There's a solid chance. Because everybody's different. That's why mold is dismissed. And it's the mycotoxins and not the mold. It's like a cigarette doesn't kill you, like you're holding a cigarette. It's like, hold the cigarette, put it in your mouth. Keep it in your pocket. Sleep with it. That cigarette doesn't kill you. It's what's inside the cigarette. What's inside black mold, mycotoxins, that's what kills you. They get inside of you and they fuck with everything. They fuck with your brain. They fuck with your eyes. They fuck with your fucking... Dude, everything. Your muscles, yep. Your bones, yeah. Dude, everything. Your lungs, your heart, your kidneys, your pancreas, your fucking everything. And there's a fucking tipping point. Long-term exposure to the mycotoxins, the deadly mycotoxins, the, the things that make mold deadly. Long-term exposure, and there's two of them in here, confirmed by the building, by the landlords, and by the property management, the Anders organization, motherfuckers, it's all on you, motherfuckers. Well, not all of it, most of it, on you. You murder my children, you motherfuckers. Dude, they know that there's at least two toxic, black, deadly fucking molds that produce the toxic, deadly, uh, like, dude, the other videos you have to, you have to know. So Leon is the most fucked. You can see that he has no hair. His hair has been gone. Why? Because he's the godfather. Leonardo is the godfather. He's an hour and a half older than my Gemma Sandra. Hour and a half. I have video of Leon being born. I have video of my baby being born. This one, I have no video. Why? Because he came out not breathing with his tongue choking him. And after 18 minutes of CPR and 
chest compressions too. When they were born, my fingers and my hands are not that big. I'm not big in general. My finger, my fucking finger, barely fit between his arms on his chest. This is where I met the dude. I met this baby right here. This is where I met him. I saved him. This one? This one saves everyone. That's the... That's the sort of basic reason, like, look at his tail, man. Dude, this motherfucker loses hair and then grows it back in different colors. Since we moved, oh, I'm gonna finish that point. Leonardo is such a goddamn wizard, seriously. I didn't name him Leonardo. Mom named him Leon. I could have stopped there. Nah, he's Leonardo, like Da Vinci. Although he's Leonardo de Escondido, de San Diego. Leonardo de California. This motherfucker is a goddamn genius. By the way, my heart right now, on the right side, my chest. Dude, this has never happened. I gotta stop. He gets excited when I get excited. He's the godfather, man. This little dude is the big. He's like, he's God. He created everything. That's why his hair falls out. This motherfucker carries the weight of the universe that he created. He carries that weight on him. So when I talk, like, dude, it's a trip. If I get on the phone and I'm talking really passionate about, I don't know, clouds or Disneyland, he don't, he don't do this. He just lays and looks like he's dead. I had to wake both of them up in the last three days, multiple times. I had to shake them to see if they were actually alive. We are dying. So whenever I get, like, this is a, this is a short manic episode. Every time I talk about this shit, I can't fucking stop talking about it because it's so goddamn, it's my goddamn fucking life, man. Look at this. This is just from a week. This is from a week. Oh, that one's not double-sided. This is from a week, and it's not all. Hang on, let's bring it all over. This is from a week. 718, yeah. This is from a week. This is my goddamn fucking life is protecting my fucking babies from a goddamn motherfucking sociopath, psycho-fucking-pathic fucking killer. Murderer, James McMath, James Hal McMath, Hal McMath. And he's got fucking accomplices. He's got accessories. And again, to finish this point, when Leon knows that I am doing things passionately, like I am now, when I'm doing things passionately, he even knows when I'm fucking typing passionately. He gets excited. Again and again and again. He's the godfather. This Leonardo, he created everything. He's a little version of God. Jesus, Allah, um, dude, he's everything. And so, you have to finish, finish. When I get excited about solving, fixing, saving us, he gets excited about being the fucking godfather. When dogs hump each other, especially boy dogs, it's not gay, it's dominance. It's establishing dominance. And so when I, I'm being dominant, I'm, uh, I'm being dominant right now. I am passionate. I am upset. I am making videos. It's when I make videos. When I just talk, he knows the difference. When I just talk to the walls, like I've been doing for, I don't know, a couple hours, three hours. Today, calm myself down, self-therapy. He don't, he don't get excited. It's when, dude, this motherfucker, he knows that what I'm recording, it will change. Things. I keep telling them, don't worry, babies, I'm going to fucking fix this, I promise. I've been saying that for years. Definitely since April 28, 2022. Excuse me. 21. April 28, 2021. I've been telling my baby, my babies, that I'm going to fix this. So, Leon gets excited. What is he doing? James is the most rabid. James is the baby. He thinks he's the boss. So when, seriously, this is a trip, and actually I, I love the distraction. And look at this. My baby that looks like and acts like he's fucking dead all goddamn day. Dude, he can't walk outside when it's hot because it's so hot in here. He feels bulb. James, he, oh my God, I'm gonna pass out. I can't fucking walk. Dude, July 24th, 2022. Dude, landlord James McMath and the Clinton Club condominium 
uh, board of directors, Alice Lynn, Stephen Fox, and the Andrews organization, the building management, property managers, Leonard VOGT and Jennifer McNally. You are all 